it's been a few years since anybody spoke to me about the Despicable Me uh, films, or the Minions for that matter. But since I've been to the cinema to see Minions 2, The Rise of Gru, I suppose I could always tell you that I've enjoyed it. See, it involves, um, it takes place right after the, the first Minions movie that I saw back in 2015, but that's besides the point. Uh, see, Gru, who is still in his younger days, uh, ends up uh, nicking this, you know, stone that's based on the Chinese zodiac uh, from the fish of sex, uh, which is funny because it's supposed to have, it has five felons instead of sex, with the founder being kicked out. Uh, the, the founder is called Wild Knuckles, right? Because of the funny gloves that have the funny knuckles. And um, since he got kicked out by the fish of sex, he decided to team up with Gru because why not? And uh, so after a bit of kerfuffle in which the minions lose the, the Zodiac Stone and uh, the, the fish of sex um, end up recovering it and uh, transform into various um, animals based on the Chinese Zodiac, like a uh, dragon, a uh, tiger, and what have you. And afterwards, the, the villains get arrested by the anti Villain League, who I'm quite surprised seeing them at all, because, well, the anti Villain League debuted in the, you know, the Despicable Me 2 that I saw back in 2013. Yeah, isn't it? But anyway, I enjoyed the movie, so uh, it'll be enjoyable if you if you saw it. So uh, anyway, that's all I've done today. So so f thanks for watching, and I hope you have a an epic a, a good day. Yeah, take care.